guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melissa for those of you who don't know and for today's video I'm going to be doing a face full of it cosmetics so I have been a fan of it cosmetics since I first got into makeup so it's been a while and I basically have a full face of it makeup and I have been seeing a lot of full face videos so I decided why not just go ahead and do a full face of it cosmetics so before we jump into this video I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already so you can be part of the ATFB fam ATFB all things fashion and beauty and hit that post notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video and also leave me a comment down below what other videos do you guys want to see do you want to see a face full of makeup with a different brand let me know and also please do not forget to like this video if you do like face full of certain brand videos just so I know what you guys like but without further ado let's jump into this video all right so you guys are zoomed in and I already primed my eyelids because I don't think it cosmetics has a eyeshadow primer and I don't think they have like a face spray or setting spray so I already did spray my face and my skin today just needed some extra love so I had to use a face spray so I used my uh Smashbox Silk so Chill Coconut Water Primer Water and that was just to really hydrate my skin. Me and my girlfriends went out last night and we went out like to a bar we were dancing drinking stuff like that it was a really fun time but my skin is feeling like it needs some love so i definitely had to spray my face this morning you know that feeling so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the eyes so for eyes i'm going in with the it cosmetics this is an it cosmetics video i shouldn't be saying it cosmetics because you guys know this is an it cosmetics product but this is the naturally pretty eyeshadow and you guys can see it is very much well loved this is an all matte eyeshadow uh palette so there is like one shimmer shade right here so just depending on how the look turns out overall i might dip into it might not but what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna go in to the shade sheer joy which is this shade right here and i'm just gonna put that uh, all over my eye basically just to give me a nice even base so my mom is a huge it cosmetics lover as well I got her into this brand we like share uh, we share a lot of makeup so this is also some of her stuff too I was like mom can I borrow this please right and I also want to mention I do have some it cosmetic brushes so I have these brushes that I'm going to be using today and then I also have the Heavenly Skin Brush. Yes, it still is in the packaging, but I'm going to try and use these brushes um, for this palette. So I'm going to go in to the shade Sunrise, which is this shade over here, and I'm going to be putting that into my crease just going in windshield wiper motions and then little circular motions and just really getting this nice and blended out it cosmetic eyeshadow brushes or brushes in general are so so soft i'm a huge fan of their brushes i really do love them so I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the crease a little bit. To do that, I'm going to go in with the shade Sunset, which is that shade right over here. And I'm just taking that on the same brush and then just deepening up that V a tiny bit just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm also swirling that on the outer portion of my eye. I'm going to go into the shade All Heart, which is like a purpley type of shade. And I'm going to put on a different brush this time I'm going in with a flatter brush and I'm gonna stamp that on the outer portion of my eye this is definitely a palette that is good for people who love those neutral tones and I used to be that person but now I want different tones in a palette part of me is like oh my god do I do just an all matte eye I might just end up doing that I know I don't think I've ever done an all matte eye on my channel but 
there's a first for everything, right? And part of me is just like, just try it out today. Maybe you'll like it. I definitely need to dip back into the shade Sunset. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you guys over there. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into Sunset. And I want to put that back into the crease just because I feel like we lost a little bit of that color. Yeah, I'm going to get a flat brush and I want to tap into the shade Love, which is a, that white beige-ish kind of shade. And I want to put that right on the inner part of my eye. I really don't know if this is going to make a difference, but it might brighten it up a little bit and still say matte. Just because I do like a brighter inner corner. I'm also going to go into that first shade that we used, Sheer Joy and Love. So I'm just mixing between the two of them. And there we go. That really brightens up that inner portion of the eye. So I'm going to go back in with the fluffy blending brush and dip between sunrise and sunset and just run that through the crease again and along the outer portion of the eye bring it up because I noticed that it looks a little down. And you, you always want your eyeshadow pulling up because if you pull it down then it just looks droopy but foundation and stuff like that will always help to shape it if you need to shape it. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this palette to the side for a second. And I'm going to prime my face. So to prime, I'm just going in with the IT Cosmetics, as you guys already know, the Bye Bye Pores Primer. I really love this primer. Um, I don't think we have a lot left of it. No. So when we don't have a lot left of this primer, which is like something that I like to do, it's a little trick, is I just like to cut this. And then just basically scoop the product out. Just using the back of my nail. And this really helps to control my oils. And it also helps to make my pores look a little bit more filled in. So it is like silicone-y. So usually what I like to do is just warm it up in between my fingers but when it's like that it's a little harder to do so so then I just press that in to my problem areas like my enlarged pores and that is usually right on my nose my forehead my chin I just really like to tap this primer into my skin to help with my pores I really focus that on the center of my face and then just drag that outward. Alright, so if the angle changed up a little bit, my battery was about to die, so I just had to switch that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner. So all I did was just pop on my e.l.f. tape, and I've actually never used It Cosmetics liner. This is the Superhero Liner. Ulta was doing their 21 Days of Beauty, and I knew that I wanted to film this video, so I went ahead and I purchased this. This is in the shade Super Black, and ooh, it looks cute. Okay, this is what it looks like. It reminds me of the mascara that they have. Ooh, all right. So this is what it looks like. It's a little pen. That is the point. It's super, super thin. I'm just going to go ahead and use this and do a wing. So I like how it's a pen. Ooh. It's really easy to use. It makes a nice, easy line. Like, I just did a simple, small line so quick. I really like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a wing. This wing is definitely a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be, but that is my own fault. It's really easy to use, though. I mean, my liner is going to be very thick, but it's really easy to use. And it's really black and it's drying down matte but like not super matte and just really easy to get a really thin line with this I'm actually incredibly surprised I feel like because the tip is so so small I'm not used to that I'm not used to like that at all that it was like I don't want to say hard but like a little hard just to master everything so I did like the wings came out good they are just a little bit more thick than I usually do, but I'm not even heating it. It looks nice. 
Okay, this definitely, I just need to practice more with it, but I feel like I could definitely get the hang of this. What I'm going to do now is put on some foundation. So for foundation, because you guys know I am pretty oily, I'm just going to go in with their newer matte version of the CC cream. And I have mine in the shade medium tan, and I hope that this is a good fit. I have not used this in a really long time. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with the CC Skin Perfecting Brush. It's a little dirty. Don't mind that but i'm just going to squirt some on the back of my hand the only thing that like i really don't like about this is for me i'm just gonna put some dots all over my face um the squirter usually doesn't always work meaning it always gets like stuck or something like that but i really do like it makes the product kind of scored out not really come out in like a one motion so sometimes it goes like and i'm just like all right but this is a really pretty cc cream just really helps to perfect my skin i'm gonna add one more layer that's why like sometimes i have to like shake this up to get it out it's not empty though Coming out a little bit more, it is on the thicker side, but it applies really nice, super even, very easy to build up, and it doesn't get splotchy. I like applying this with the brush. This is the brush that it came with. I actually got this on QVC, so it was this brush, it was this foundation, and then it was also a powder that I'm going to show you guys. And I got that, I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. But it really is easy to just blend in. And I feel like this is an okay match for me right now. It might be a little too light, but we can always bronze up the skin to make it a perfect match. Yeah, because I feel like right here, just need a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use their Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This concealer is literally like my holy grail. It's amazing. It is a little tube, so you just squeeze it out. It is on the thicker side, and all I do is I kind of just dab that right underneath my eyes. And I'm bringing it a little lower today just because I am a little red right over here. But literally, guys, a little bit goes a long way with this stuff it is so good that you really just need a tiny bit of it because otherwise it's too much so then all i'm gonna do is just dab that in with a damp a damp sponge i'm getting as close to the wing as possible without messing it up and i'm also gonna bring this down all right if you hear shaking that is my bracelet this concealer is literally my holy grail concealer it is so good i always forget about it i'm gonna be honest because i have so many concealers i always forget how like amazing this is it really covers up the dark circles it doesn't crease up on me just make sure like i said before don't use a ton of it because then it is going to get creasy but it just looks so nice. So you guys can see I am a little bit, not shiny, but dewy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking, this is what came in the set from QVC. This is the Your Skin But Better Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And this is in the shade Medium Tan. And it does come with a little whoop, like applicator like that, but I don't use it that. Um, I actually just use the brush. So I'm going to go in with the brush, so whirl it around, and then just swirl that on my face. It gives some extra coverage as well, especially for like that under eye area. That's where I want more of that coverage. To so tap that on underneath my eyes, then swirl that everywhere else. See, that just gave a little bit more extra coverage. So... 
now that we just have a little bit more coverage I just want to completely set my face because I am pretty oily so I usually have I have two different things so I have the loose setting powder which is what I'm going to set my face with today and then I also have the pressed powder I usually use the pressed powder for like touch-ups throughout the day or I use it for just regular or I use it for regular um powder but today I just want to use a loose powder and it does look like this I am going to use the applicator that it came with and I'm just going to press uh, that all over just to really mattify my skin because it's going to be a hot day in Jersey just to really mattify it and just get it all up in there oh no I did get some on my liner see how like matte my skin looks oh, that is what I need for my face because I get so oily but that really mattifies my skin and it also really does help make those pores basically disappear so I'm going to do my eyes or finish up my eyes so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back into the naturally pretty palette and I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to mix the shade sunset and all heart so those two shades and I'm just going to press that against my lower lash line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smudger brush. And I'm going to dip into the shade Sunrise, which is that first transition shade that we used. And I'm going to take that and just use that to smoke out my bottom lash line. Just to really blend everything together. And make sure when you do this that you do connect your lower lash line to that wing so it doesn't look separate just so it makes it look neat and just all together all right and now i'm going to do some lashes so i have two mascaras i have the it superhero um mascara and then i also have this is the hello lashes mascara this is just a five in one i'm going to go ahead and use this today and the wand has a little, as you can see, ball at the end. I really like that for getting right up in the inner corners of my eyelashes. This gives your lashes like a really natural finish, but it also makes them really long. And it really does separate them as well. Alright, so the mascara really, I feel like it used to do more for my lashes, but... Right now, like, I really don't see that big of a difference. So, I'm going to go and get my other mascara from it. And I'm going to see if that would work a little bit better. Because I'm really not a fan of the Hello Lashes one. It did really separate them. And it did a good job on my bottom lash line. But I really don't feel like my lashes look that full. Or like I'm wearing any mascara. And I just want them to be a little bit more intense. So I will be right back. So I found my superhero mascara and I'm going to go ahead and use this. That is what this wand looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on. There we go. This is really adding that nice black dramatic look that I wanted. Like that looks like I'm wearing mascara. This really doesn't. Okay, so my lashes do look a little clumpy. I feel like because I tried to put those two together. But overall, I think I like the superhero mascara a little bit better than the super than the Hello Lashes mascara, just because I feel like it gave me a little bit more of that full effect versus that long effect and I want my lashes to look a little bit fuller so what I'm gonna do next is the inner corner highlight I can't believe I almost forgot that so I'm gonna go ahead take that transparent pearl shade right over here and I'm gonna pop that on the inner part of my eye so this really to me doesn't look that intense of a shimmer that is what we're going to use today and i'm going to put that underneath my brow bone as well again it's really not that shimmery as you guys can see like i can't even see that but it just does add like a nice natural kind of sheen 
which works because this is the natural palette. So let me actually do my brows because I just realized I didn't do them. So for brows, I'm going in with the brow. This is the brow power power. So it has a little spoolie on one end and it also has the color on the other end. So I'm just going to brush and this is just the universal shade. So then I'm just going to fill my brows in. One thing that I do like about this is how it's a universal shade. I don't know how they do that, but it just, it works. All right, so my brows are on. They're looking pretty full. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add in some blush, bronzer, and some highlight. So I have, this is the Je Ne Sais Quoi. I hope I said that right. This is the little set and what you have here is some blush you see this is really loved i loved this so much so you have blush bronzer highlight and then just a little setting powder so what i'm going to do is start off with the bronzer the bronzer you guys could see like i'm not a huge fan of i feel like it really doesn't give me that much color like you could see like i'm really digging in here and I'm not really getting a color payoff. I don't know if this is just a dupe, a bad bronzer or what, but it's just, I'm not a fan of it because I really don't see much of that color. Let me know, have you guys used this? Do you like this bronzer? Cause I'm really, I have to like really dig in there to get a little bit. Cause I see a little bit of color coming out now, but not, if I'm digging in like that, I feel like I should be getting a lot more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the white powder over here. I'm just gonna put a little bit more right underneath my eyes just to really brighten and make sure they stay matte. And I usually just go right around my nose too. And then right over here. I usually use this wherever I get like super oily and textured, I just go right over it just to kind of brighten up my eye, make sure I stay as matte as can be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the highlighter. I'm using a little fan brush, and this is not from It Cosmetics, this is Real Techniques, I think, and I'm just gonna dip in there and then just apply. This is a really nice, natural highlight, and it looks really pretty. So I'm definitely a fan of the highlighter. It just looks really natural. Very pretty on the skin. I feel like all it cosmetics is just supposed to look really natural and shimmery and stuff like that. And that down at my nose, tip of my nose, and then Cupid's bow. And then what I'm gonna do is dip in to the blush. So I'm just dipping right in there, smiling. This adds a nice flush of color to my cheeks and I really do like the blush. Again, really natural. I mean, how many times can I say natural in one video? It cosmetics to me is just a natural kind of fancy. It's just such a cute little blush. I love it. I could definitely go ham on the blush, but it just adds such a nice. What I have next is just lipstick, and this isn't really a lipstick. This is the lip blush. So it looks like this. You can see uh, it has been loved. And all you do is you just put it on your lips. See how my lips just look more natural and just like in my perfect pink. You could see like that half of the lip compared to this half. It just gives it a little bit more life. This is super hydrating and it just. It transforms your lips to give it a nice flush. I think it's like your perfect pink or something like that, but I really like it. I also used to have, it was a lip gloss from It Cosmetics, and it was the blue one. And what that was is kind of just made your teeth look whiter, and they were saying that you can put it on top of anything, and your lips just look really white. So I really like this. It's really, really... um moisturizing and it just gives that nice again natural how many times can i say natural natural um flush to your lips and 
I'm a huge fan of it. But this is the completed look, guys. Uh, this makeup look is something, I'm not even going to lie, that I did very, very often. I mean, maybe not the eyes, but the base and the lips. I did this so often. The eyes, what I actually used to do is I used to really dip into, like, love soft light. And these two, like, that was always my four that I always did for like a natural type of look but I'm really digging this look it really matches with the lips as well kind of like that pink theme but I really like this I'm a huge fan of it cosmetics I love what they do to my skin my pores look smaller my skin looks healthier it just looks really again shall I say natural but this is it for the video guys i hope that you guys enjoyed and learned a trick or two or that you guys found a product that you want to try but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already so you'll be part of the atfb fam atfb all things fashion and beauty and please hit that post notification bell so you can get notified every single time i post a video and also leave me a comment down below what was your favorite product do you have that issue with the bronzer in this palette or what other face full of product do you guys want to see next let me know in the comments down below and i will make those videos happen but i hope that you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and i will see you in my next video bye